Yeah, Katie, this is a very familiar spot for anybody who loves uh, seafood here at Mittendorf's in Manchac, near past Manchac. And as Alexandra Cranford just said, we actually had one of those little heavy downpours. It didn't last very long along here. But uh, we actually headed up because we were at for near landing a little bit closer to Laplace and we're concerned because uh, uh, the parish president mentioned concern about the old Highway 51, the old road that runs alongside uh, Interstate 55 and concerned about water coming on it as it started to come up at the boat launch at Frenier Landing. So we drove north toward Manchac on that low road and ended up finding some water on the highway. Uh, it was pretty much passable, some areas where you had to maneuver to get through and you need a higher vehicle to get through. But then we got up to Manchac and it was pretty calm and uh, we ran into the owner of Mittendorf's uh, Horst Pfeiffer as he was preparing his restaurant to protect it just in case putting up some of these uh, barriers that they produce and let's listen to what he had to say. I made my offer to the flood gods so they accept my offer and I will be here Wednesday morning bright and early and take it out and serve thin fried catfish on Wednesday for lunch. Good okay That's well my dream. everybody has to have a dream. Right. And tell us about this system of gates that you actually installed, right? Yeah, I installed it and we have it. Uh, it's a real cool system. You know, in the beginning we had uh, 27 panels and the first time we set it up, it took like six people, eight hours and a lot of screaming and yelling. Now we have it perfected and it takes three of us and we put our barricades up so we only have to put 15 panels up and it takes us maybe three hours and it's really neat. You take our anchor bolts out you know, sweep everything off, blow everything off, drop them down and seal them, and then tighten everything up. So, so it's, be you organized. Get, you have it down to a science now. Well, that's no science, that's back-breaking work. <laughs> yeah, I bet. No, it's a science. You have to make it easy on everybody. Since you want to be here for your employees to come back and for our customer and everything, you know, in the time we're in, whatever it takes to make it happen, that's what you have to do. Sure, and also there's a wall that you set up over here, right? Is that something that you built? It's part of our, uh, planners our gardening system <laughs> okay okay and you got animals back here too like a mini zoo well no we have our little you know we get so many families coming out and it's nice we have some chickens and guineas and turkeys and besides this we also have coyotes and alligators running all over the place we're in a swamp sure and with past manchak coming through here does that cause a funnel or any kind of flooding on that side where it connects between lake morapa and lake Pontchartrain? Well, when the water comes from the east, when you have easterly wind, it's so funny. On the other side, behind uh, Middendorf, there's the railroad track. So first, my neighbors get flooded when the water comes in, so it's bottlenecks are there. Then when the water's there and the, the wind or the storm goes towards west and the north, and it comes over, then I get it. When everybody thinks, oh, we dodged a bullet, that's when I'm fighting it. Yeah, because if we're thinking it's going to the east here now and it's east, starting to... I'm east, I'm safe. I'm a lot safer. But he's still, if you, you know... It would be funny. You have this in your storage, and you don't set it up, and the storm makes a turn, and you wet. Everybody laughs at you, right? And back to it. You have to make an offering to my flood gods I, I, every time I do this. So the flood gods said what, do you think? It stays dry. Okay. That's your, that's your guess at this point. It's what I mentally get from my spirits. Okay. <laughs> good. Good. Well, we certainly hope for that. No, Thank I hope. You always have to have uh, good hopes. And you know the signs, they're looking like it's going towards the east. So when it goes towards the east, uh, it's sad for there, but uh, I won't have this much water in here. But it's gonna pump into more. I mean, you get water, like when um, Isaac sat for 24 hours in Homer, there was so much water in here. And then when it's hit north, and it's barely it was a hurricane, we had the highest water ever. And as you hear there from Mr. Pfeiffer, he's talking about back in 2012 when Hurricane Isaac came in much closer to St. John the Baptist Parish, came through this way and sat and sat, and it was very slow moving, just like Hurricane Sally is now, but of course Hurricane Sally is much further to the east. But he was pointing out how here where Pass Manchac connects Lake Pontchartrain to Lake Moripaw, it creates a funnel sometimes, and he doesn't feel it right away. He might feel it uh, days later after the storm surge comes in and settles in Lake Moripaw and he was saying that that area just behind us uh, where 
the pass Manchac passes by Mittendorf's, it actually got very, very high during Hurricane Isaac. So, uh, you know, he's hopeful, as he said, the storm gods, he's hoping, will uh, smile.